This is Deb from Business Building Shortcuts and from the downloads page you should have already uh, right clicked that link and saved this zip file somewhere on your computer that you can find it. I want you to go find where that is and then when you get to that zip file squeeze template KSC zip simply right click go to extract all and it's going to bring up the extraction wizard hopefully uh, it works the same way on Mac um, and then you just click next as it goes along and if you want to have it open uh, you can click that otherwise unclick that box and it's going to create a new folder and inside that folder should be our uh, HTML page of our template so I want you to remember where that is on your computer because now we're going to close this and open composer and I want you to navigate to where it was that you unzipped that file. So I'll meet you right there. Okay, I've navigated to it and now you can see it listed right there and I'm in Composer. Uh, and I just went to open and navigated to it. So I'm going to write, I'm going to select it and click open. And there it is. That's our template and it opens in normal view. And now what we want to do, of course, you'll want to go through and edit all the things you see on this front page to be um, appropriate for your niche and for you. Um, and that's a subject for a different time. But what I want you to do now is click on source because what we want to do is edit this box here and you cannot edit that from normal. You need to go into the source code in order to edit that. So I'll also need you to go to your kickstart cart uh, and get some information. We need your um, your kickstart cart ID number and then also the autoresponder number for the particular autoresponder that you set up. And the way you do that is you log in, you go to My Autoresponders and you click on the name of the autoresponder you created and it will show you uh, probably a six-digit number that will call it the autoresponder ID. Grab that piece of information as well. Meet me right back here. I'm going to click on source and this is all information in here. See, you'll have to go through this as well. Your page title here, you'll need to change that. This is the piece of information that shows up in the top of a browser window. So you don't want it to say your page title here. You want it to say whatever um, it is that's on that page, whether it's your website name or an offering that you have. You'll also want to go through and edit uh, where it says content in between the quotes, your description here, your keywords here, those things uh, you will want to edit so that they give your description and your keywords. But right now, scroll on down, way on down, this is through all the bullets, you can enter most of that from um, from the front page. But you see right here, we're going to go to where it says Form Action and depending on what else you've edited, it might be on line 124 or if you edited those bullets and things on the front already, it may be on actually a different line. But you want to find Form Action equals HTTPS forward slash, the one where it says MCSSL. That is the beginning of your opt-in form for Kickstart Cart. So scroll on down and find that. You also have a PDF file called Edit Your Squeeze Page Kickstart Cart Opt-in Code that you downloaded. Um, and this is what this looks like. When you open it up, it will look like this. And it's going to show you in circle um, the, the places that you need to edit so that you can always put this right on the, on the uh, desktop next to you. Your merchant ID, your um, thank you page, the places here that are in red, circled in red, you absolutely must edit those. The ones that are circled here in green or blue, teal color, you, you're welcome to edit those if you want to, but you don't need to. These four places in red though, you do want to edit those. So I'm going to close that one again. We're going to go in here and talk about what they are. As we were looking at that, right here where it says um, your merchant ID, that is your merchant ID number within Kickstart Cart. So when you check in, it's going to tell you what that number is. Right now, they're six-digit numbers. Later on, um, and they get more people, they might turn into seven-digit numbers. But you would take this out 
and put your number in there. So it might look like this. Then the next thing you would want to do is to go down here where it says valued your URL.com, your thank you page. This is the page that people will be taken to after they opt in using this opt in form. So you want to create a page for that, uh, or there is a default one if you go in and you do follow the other two videos and create one from scratch. But we recommend that you actually create a specialized page using your HTML editor which we're in. Um, so you would put your URL here, your domain name dot com, and then the name of your thank you page here and it'll direct it to that. Then the next thing you want to do is go down here to where it says your AR number, your autoresponder number, and that was the number that you found by going into Kickstart Cart and clicking on the autoresponder name that you created in my autoresponders and it will show you that autoresponder number. So you want to take that out and replace it with your autoresponder number. And those are the three things that you need to change in this part of the uh, HTML code that make it work for you, make the autoresponder work for you. Then that other, the other pieces were just if you wanted to say something like enter your primary email, you would put that in here, primary, or enter your first name, you could put enter your and you could edit that to be first. But be sure you're not editing some of this other stuff. Always go back to that PDF file because I've circled the things that you can change on this embedded opt-in script. Um, if you're doing this from scratch it will look a little bit different and you'll want to follow the other video that we directed you to. Then just that last little piece that you want to edit is the statement that it says on your form uh, for submit and that is right in here where it says your submit statement. You would want to change that to read um, uh, click here to get your your free gift or yes I want my gifts or yes sign me up. Something compelling should be in there because this is what's going to show up on the button. So when I click here, this one right here, when you change that text it will change what your actual button that they click to sign up will say. And those are the only things that you really need to do from within here. All of the rest of the editing can be done from within the normal view on your screen. So now you know how to edit the embedded code in your um, squeeze template for Kickstart Cart. Now there's one last piece of this that I want to show you. And that is, if you're using um, a different autoresponder, not Kickstart Cart, then you can't just edit these little pieces of uh, data that I've shown you. You have to take out this whole thing from the beginning of form action here, all the way down to the end where it says slash form. You need to select that whole chunk, delete it, and then you need to go in and create an autoresponder opt-in box, um, HTML code in whatever other autoresponder you may be using and paste that in here in this same spot. But you need to take out that whole section there and replace it with the appropriate code from your autoresponder. So that's all that you have to do. So let's get it going and get it up there on your website. Talk to you later. This is Deb from Business Building Shortcuts and from the downloads page you should have already uh, right clicked that link and saved this zip file somewhere on your computer that you can find it. I want you to go find where that is and then when you get to that zip file squeeze template KSC zip simply right click go to extract all and it's going to bring up the extraction wizard hopefully uh, it works the same way on Mac um, and then you just click next as it goes along and if you wanted to have it open, uh, you can click that, otherwise unclick that box and it's going to create a new folder and inside that folder should be our uh, HTML page of our template. So I want you to remember where that is on your computer because now we're going to close this and open Composer and I want you to navigate to where it was that you unzipped that file. So I'll meet you right there.